Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa this morning presided over the Consumers International Congress 2023. Let's listen. Plan. Countries like Kenya may boast of strong legal frameworks on protection of consumers. But the blossoming of illicit trade points to possible limited awareness among the public. Raising awareness on such threats is critical to consumer protection. With the violation of consumers evolving with technology, national and transnational legal provisions will be less effective and possibly obsolete if reviews are not updated. For instance, Digital payments in Kenya are on the rise, like the rest of the world. The, the indigenous M-Pesa mobile service has transformed digital payments. As mobile banking and digital payments keep rising, more consumers' issues emerge. Relevant laws must be aligned to meet the demands of such developments. Further, adoption of artificial intelligence to track, arrest, and suppress the networks of consumer exploitations across the world cannot be gainsaid. Integration of such technology in consumer protection mechanisms is an assured way of effectively delivering on your mandate beyond the borders in a complementary manner. This is one of the key conversations that needs to be explored comprehensively to inform the outcome of 2023 edition of this Congress. Drawing from the varied international experiences, this gathering is a platform for dialogue, exchange of ideas, good practices, and forging partnerships in global consumer protection frameworks. On this note, I again express my gratitude to Consumers International for choosing Nairobi as the host city for this significant event. The outcome will have a lasting impact on the global consumer protection landscape. It is now my pleasure to declare the 2023 Nairobi edition of the Consumers International Global Congress officially open. Thank you. Junior secondary school teachers in Bomet County took to the streets of Bomet Town to pile pressure on the 